Hi guys, welcome back to my next installment of my Madonna YouTube videos. We'll focus on the first album here. So here's a repressing of the first album with the um, triangle sticker on the back. It's usual track listing as you can see there, but it's nice to have it with the original sticker. Here's an Australian pressing um, with the singles that were released in Australia uh, noted on the front there. And they, um, that's a nice uh, record pressing, and if you were the made in, in the Australasian market. And we move on to Philippines pressing. This one actually has the titles printed on the cover there. Um, if the songs listed uh, from the album, Burning Up, Physical Attraction, and Lucky Star, you can see there, that's a nice pressing. The back cover has all the usual logo and um, song and production details. This one's a nice item. So this is a South African pressing of the uh, first album. It highlights and the scene includes a single holiday there. It's a nice caption that's printed on the actual cover. But um, the nicest thing about this is the back cover design has uh, all the writing and uh, copyright info there printed uh, along the side, which is different to the rest of the world. And the label actually has is the record there is titled as Lucky Star rather than Madonna. Um, so that's different to anywhere else. Here's the Japanese pressing with a nice red obi strip. This one has the title Madonna on the obi strip, printed across the top of the obi strip there. Um, the, as you can see there, it's Madonna and um, it has uh, features a Like a Virgin album on the Obi strip. So this was a reissue. It was not the first pressing from Japan. You'll see that later. Here's the first issue of the Korean, Korean pressing of her album. Um, you can see there all the uh, Ministry of Sound uh, copyright information there. Totally official. Uh, Mexican pressing. The cover has actually got some songs, um, translated songs listed on the front cover. And on the back, you can see they're actually listing their translated songs there as well under the English um, titles. So it's a little different. And that caption on the front is actually printed on the cover. Here's the original pressing of the Japanese album. It was actually titled Burning Up in Japan. Um, you can see there the dance contemporary caption so they were they were the first copies and you can see there it has a different back obi strip um, they were uh, issued in the first in the first release this is the argentine pressing of the album you can see there the wea caption uh, on the back there all the songs were actually translated in spanish uh, for the mexican uh, for the argentine market that's a nice pressing and this is just another repressing of the uh, reissue of the album in Japan. Here's a German pressing with that wonderful uh, sticker across the top there, which also lists some of the singles released off the album. These were produced in Germany and distributed to the UK. This one's the Venezuelan pressing of the first album. That caption on the top there is printed on the front cover. It's different, uh, a slightly different cover to everywhere else as you can see. Uh, it's a nice design, and on the back here it has the um, WMA logo and all the other little captions at the bottom. One of the nicest and probably the rarest uh, of all her first album uh, or debut albums to find on vinyl is the Guatemalan person with a huge big pink triangle on there and so a logo on the front. These are impossible to come by, very rare. There's all the um, writing there, all the logos and copyright information. Impossible to find, even in good condition, because if you do find them, they're usually torn to shreds. And also then the second pressing of the Korean album, you can see the caption up top there, that's printed on the album, it's not a sticker. And then there is actually a red sticker there that um, lists Holiday and Borderline as the singles. And this was the Korean pressing only. Um, comes with its own red insert inside. Here's the Colombian house, the US Colombian house pressing. Um, so you, for a limited time, you could order her first album. Uh, through a music club and they were pressed and distributed through Columbia House which uh, are written there, manufactured by Columbia House under license as you can see there. And then we have the Brazilian pressing. Once again, lists the titles on the front cover. Um, that's actually printed on the actual sleeve uh, and um, it has uh, some other copyright information on the back. Her first album was reissued in 85 
um, due to the success, success of the live conversion album, you can see that sticker there that highlights the previous singles that were released. So um, basically, the, the, the track listing. So the cover and the packaging is totally unique color, but the record itself remains the same. This is the German pressing, which um, has a large red sticker and promotes the album. So this one in particular. Um, released in Germany and had a large fold-out poster. Now this is the Australasian pressing which was issued in Australia and New Zealand. You can see it's got blue titles there uh, so it's different to anywhere else in the world because it actually has blue and white titles as opposed to the, the other designs released all through Europe which is red and yellow titles as you can see there and there were, it was a very small uh, pressing count in Australia only for the Australasian market. Nice and rare indeed. So I hope you enjoyed the video um, and stay tuned for more. Cheers.